a voice that dominated the Minnesota radio airwaves has gone silent. WCCO radio Steve Cannon lost his battle with cancer last night. The 81-year-old was known for his colorful cast of characters and for having a kind heart. The WCCO. Governor Carlson is rumored to have said Cannon retiring is better than the Gophers going to the Final Four. I think one of the things I do best on radio, telling stories. Oh, I thought the guy was brilliant, and I never stopped thinking that. He was absolutely one of the most talented broadcasters in the history of the industry. Steve Cannon grew up on the Iron Range and went into the military. From there, he bounced from city to city with dreams of stardom, finally coming back to Minnesota and WCCO Radio. He dubbed himself the King of Kilohertz, the Prince of the Airwaves. His attitude appealed to the no-nonsense crowd who didn't mind a little sarcasm. I knew that, there, that this, this was the station, this is where it could be done because it was powerful. He had a trick. Instead of getting himself in trouble, Cannon let his characters do the talking. I guess it wasn't until I'd heard him a few times that I realized that Morgan Mundane, Ma Linger, and Backlash LaRue were actually characters. You know, I thought those were real people. Cannon retired from WCCO in 1997, signing off after nearly 40 years on Minnesota Airwaves. He joked about getting out on time. What counts more? The money or the memories? The money. <laughs> I sat down with him when he retired. Dave Lee, who does the morning show, came in to me about two weeks ago. He says, Steve-O, level with me. What about the rumors? You going to end it all? And I said, I may do that, Dave. He said, don't do it. You're still at the top of your game, you know. You're still great. Don't do it. I thought about that, and I thought he gave me the impetus, in a sense. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. that's when you get out, mm -hmm. when you can still do it. WCCO personality Dark Star says Cannon knew who he was and lived up to it. Uh, Minneapolis St. Paul Magazine called him one time and wanted to do a story on him. And he says, is it a cover story? And they said, well, no, it isn't. He said, thanks for calling and hung up the phone. I've got the memories. Cannon was inducted into the Minnesota Museum of Broadcasting Hall of Fame in 2002. He got two plaques, one for himself and one for his characters. It is an understatement that he is going to be missed. Mm -hmm. He was an icon to so many and an idol for some. And for somebody lucky like me, yeah. he turned into a mentor, too. He kind of took me under his wing from time to time. Great guy. And I told the story earlier tonight. I have to tell it again. Calvin Griffith, the old Twins owner, comes up to Steve Cannon one time, and his one character was Morgan Mundane. Right. Yes, Steve, only do the uh, yeah, yeah, different uh, prognostications. Right. And Calvin Griffith says, Tell that mundane guy to stop ripping us. Calvin actually thought <laughs> Morgan Mundane was a real guy. Steve loved telling that story. Only one in our business that ever really scared me. Oh, <laughs> our thoughts and prayers go Great out guy. to his family and friends.